what seems very clear from both those interviews is that both are both Yogendar Yadav and Prashant Bhushan have decided they will not go down without a fight. And the central message in those two interviews is that the idea of the Aam Admi Party is much bigger than the friends who've surrounded Arvind Kejriwal. And this is a volunteer's party, a people's party, it's not Kejriwal's party. Kejriwal, meanwhile, finds himself in the eye of a huge storm. His cavalcade landed in Bengaluru and was immediately found to be violating some of the tall promises that Kejriwal had said. Now, take a look at the images on your screen. These could well be uh, any neta. This could be Subbir Badal, his father, this could be Vasundra Rajay. But no, this is the Aam Admi chief minister driving in a massive cavalcade. Dozens of vehicles in this cavalcade as he lands at the Bengaluru airport, travels towards, um, travels towards the resort where his naturopathy treatment is to take place. This is what Kejriwal had went it against. This is what he said he would end. Instead, he ends up doing exactly what everyone else has been doing all this while. This is exactly what Arvind Kejriwal said would not happen. A huge cavalcade as the Aam Admi Chief Minister drives into Bengaluru. Joining us now is Kamal Mitra Chinoy from the Aam Admi Party. So welcome. What do you make of Delhi's Chief Minister? Just take a look at those pictures because that really brings out what's happened today. Here is our Chief Minister driving in this big cavalcade of Lal Bhattis. Is this the promise of the Aam Admi Party, Professor Chinoy? Well, there should be some reason for this. If it's security and all, I don't know. But I don't think this is the main issue troubling people in Aam Aadmi. The no, main issue. I, I, I want to comment on this because this is what Arvind Kejriwal said would not happen. No, no, he Arvind took offense to other chief ministers, prime ministers, netas doing this. Now he's doing exactly what, and this is just symbolic of the several other problems which indicate that the Aam Aadmi party is no better nor worse than any other party. Well, it's, in, it's not only a cavalcade, he was also very keen on having access to people. So if there is a cavalcade, it's a bit difficult to have access to the ordinary people. He had opposed the Z plus security also no, on that ground. He fine with his cavalcade, sir. Well, um, I'm sure many people would like to talk to him when he comes back. There is a lot of uh, stirring in our... So if you were to meet Arvind Kejriwal, what would you tell him? Well, I'd say I uh, saw that cal cavalcade and uh, uh, why was it there? There must be some reason. Please let us know. No, because very conveniently he says he never wanted the cavalcade. It's protocol. They gave it to him. Is that an acceptable explanation, sir? Things have gone far beyond the cavalcade, you know. Um, quite frankly, in the Aam Admi Party, we won't be happy with it. We'll say, you know, this is a huge cavalcade. Why? But there are other things which are which are worrying us now. No, we've played out on our channel interviews with uh, Yogendra Yadav, interviews with Prashant Bhushan, where they are speaking of a personality cult. That you've got Kejriwal. It seems the Kejriwal alone party. That's the new acronym for up. No, but I don't think that is true, because if it was a Kejriwal alone party, um, there would not have been eight votes against what is called the official resolution. 8 to 11 and if Mayang Gandhi had not abstained and written his blog but uh, voted it would have been 11-9. So it is clear that there is no one uh, force in any one individual or group which controls up without any um, demands for right of inner party democracy etc. And also mind you this is before the Lokpal uh, Admiral Ramdas has got into the act. Because, and also, it has now been accepted by everyone in the PAC that uh, the points that uh, uh, Prashant Bhushan brought out, and uh, including uh, money transactions, uh, bad selection of candidates, etc., are something that they want to be investigated, probably by the Lokpal. So I think, you know. So, what happens next to your mind? You've thrown Prashant Bhushan and uh, Yogendra Yadav out of the PSC. They're no longer members. They're upset they're speaking against the party. What happens next, sir? I don't think, uh, number one, I don't think the PSC controls the party. There's also... Uh, well, it's your apex decision. Yes, but the, there's a national executive also, which is bigger. 
and they are talking of having a national council meeting soon, which is the basic big uh, body. But I think whatever the calculations were of whoever, the idea that they would get Yogen and Prashant to quietly uh, go into the sunset has not worked. And it's embarrassing for them also because then the voting figures came out. Then Mayank's blog came out and we don't know what else will come out. And I want to state one thing, irrespective of whatever position we have, whether we, like me, do uh, spokesman activities also, the fact of the matter is that we want the party to live by the promises it made because this party is needed to be that way. And if there are any deviations on which are commonly accepted, then that has to be, uh, has to be cleansed. Right. You're making your points very forcefully. I hope the only man who matters in the Ahmadmi party now is listening. Because there is clearly, whether you like it or not, Kamal Mithra Chinoy, a personality cult around Arvind Kejriwal. But a cult is only created if enough people want, to, want the cult. And I think that a cult is no answer. I mean, the well, his, his cronies clearly want the cult. Yeah, but the cronies wanted no voting. And yet eight people voted. And if my uncle had voted, it wouldn't be 11, 9. And, and there was what, another person what? who also uh, abstained. So it's not that there's just one view okay. in the party. You're making sensible points. I hope the man who matters is listening. Whether he's listening or not, it's not, about are, him uh, it's not only about him. And we are not going to stop working for AAP and the dream that AAP had followed. Thank you very much for joining us, Professor. Thank you. Thank you. Let me now take you live to Bengaluru. Joining us from there is my colleague Ankit Tyagi who travelled with Arvind Kejriwal on the flight to Bengaluru and is keeping a very close eye on all these developments. Ankit, how is Arvind Kejriwal responding to the huge controversy over this cavalcade? The Ahmadmi chief minister in a VIP cavalcade. It seems at this stage Kejriwal can do no right. Well, uh, Rahul, uh, in fact, I'm standing right outside uh, the treatment center where uh, Arvind Kejriwal is uh, uh, getting this uh, naturopathy treatment done for the next 10 days. He is here along with his parents. I did manage to speak to him about uh, uh, this entire controversy. And what he said was that uh, he categorically told the local unit uh, to, uh, uh, to ask the local police not to give them escorts. In fact, Prithvi Reddy, who is uh, uh, also the coordinator of uh, the state and he's the head of the Vistar movement of the Ahmadni Party, uh, he said that he sent messages to senior police officials requesting them, uh, them not to send them escorts but uh, those escorts were sent to them saying that it's a part of the protocol. He is a sitting chief minister of a state. He is a Z plus uh, uh, security protectee and it is necessary. I also spoke to him about the toll plazas that he crossed and uh, why didn't he pay. He said that uh, the, according to the police and the, the protocol officer who was with me, he said that in their state that is exempted. So he, was, he said that he was being escorted by the uh, police and uh, that is why he did not have any say in the matter, though he still reiterated that uh, uh, it is not that personally I, I wish to do such thing, uh, but uh, I am in a different state and things are not in my hands. Very, very convenient. This is exactly what any other Neta would have said under similar circumstances and this is exactly what Arvind Kejriwal would have opposed. Now, in the same situation, he does what anybody else would. Where is the difference, Mr. Kejival? Ankit, for a moment, I want to shift our attention to uh, the treatment that Arvind is undergoing. Give our viewers a sense. You've been speaking to the doctors who will be treating him. Give our viewers a sense of the kind of treatment he will be undergoing and uh, are they sh how certain are they that they'll be able to fix that awful cough that he has, uh, which he's had for the last several years now. Ankit? Well, today was the first day of uh, Arvind Kejriwal's uh, treatment uh, here. Today was the day of uh, diagnosis. Basically, various tests were done uh, and uh, he, he, he was uh, given uh, massage and steam uh, treatment. Uh, the insulin, uh, the quantity that he has been taken, that has been reduced. And from tomorrow, from 5.30 a.m. in the tomorrow uh, morning, uh, he will, in fact, start a routine of uh, yoga, asanas, walking uh, and massages and so and so forth. And plus, today he was still offered uh, uh, some boiled uh, vegetables along with chapati but uh, tomorrow we, uh, he told me that uh, it will be okay. a strictly uh, juice diet he'll be on the liquid diet and uh, in 10 days he's hoping that he would be able to reduce his uh, insulin Ankit, some people would say that uh, this is a very smartly timed 
health vocation because there's so much of a storm around uh, Yogendra Yadav, Prashant Bhushan's ouster, the chief minister not wanting to respond to these pressing query questions. See what uh, Kamal Mitra Chinoy said, see what Prashant Bhushan is saying, Yogendra Yadav is saying and therefore very conveniently he chooses to get admitted. People are playing holy, uh, 10 days is a long time, he hopes that the news cycle will move on, people will forget, go beyond uh, Prashant and Yogendra. Is Kejriwal aware that that's a concern that especially his critics will have and how is he responding to that? Well, in a sense, of course, uh, Mr. Kejriwal wanted to give this image out that he is away from this controversy and it's the national executive that is deciding things. Uh, the resignation that he had sent uh, uh, was a testimony. He, uh, he said that uh, he cannot go and vote now because he has resigned and the national executive has to decide on that. Uh, although he told me that he had made this booking on 2nd of March, uh, it's not that he had made this booking after the date of, uh, the, the, P of the national executive was decided. Uh, his do he said that his blood sugar level are, were extremely high. His parents were also uh, not well and that is why he had decided uh, he said that the, the institute where he is right now, they had given him this time frame and that is why he decided to come here. But of course, uh, as far as the perception goes, this is what uh, a lot of people are talking about. In fact, in the morning also when we came here, there were a few people, those who were standing with that United Up placard. So far, Mr. K. Jiva said that he, do, he does not wish to react to that. Although, speaking exclusively to headlines today, he said that he is saddened and pained by the turn of events but he only and only wants to focus on Delhi.